a few of the merged JCs were amongst the oldest government JCs, with campuses that has gotten somewhat date, outdated. We have been progressively improving the building infrastructure of ITE and polytechnics, and I think our JCs deserve new campuses too. So we'll start a multi-year, multi-phase JC rejuvenation program. When choosing which JCs to start with, we considered several factors. The age of the JC, the state of its existing facilities, and also the availability of holding sites uh, while you build new campuses. We also considered whether MOE will need time to engage stakeholders for co-funding arrangements because that will apply to the government-aided JCs. So the first phase starting in 2022 will involve rebuilding three JCs and upgrading one. So three SIRs, one MUP for those of us who remember what MUP is. And they are as follows. First, in the east, the Masek JC. It has the oldest campus among the government JCs, 43 years old. We were temporarily housed the JC at the former Tampanese JC site, which is now vacant, and rebuilt at the Masek JC's existing campus. Once complete, it will move back to the existing site. Second, in the West, and maybe this will address some of Mr. Ang Wei Neng's puzzling questions, puzz puzzles yesterday. Jurong Pioneer JC, which is now located at the former Pioneer JC site. So prior to the merger, Jurong JC was one of our oldest government JCs, 35 years old. So we will build a new campus at the site of the former Jurong JC, and once completed, Jurong Pioneer JC will move there. We chose this permanent site for the merged JC because of its convenience and accessibility. And as Mr. Ang Wenen mentioned, it is near the Jurong Lake District and will be served by the future Jurong Region MRT line. Third in the north, Anderson Serangoon JC. Currently located at the former Anderson JC site. Prior to the merger, both are old JCs. Anderson at 36 years old, Serangoon JC at 31 years old. After merger, we decided to locate the merged JC at the former Anderson JC site because it is next to Yochukang MRT station and its facilities can better accommodate the merged JCs. The same consideration is still valid in deciding the future permanent site of Anderson Serangoon JC. This means that at some point in the next few years, we will need Anderson Serangoon JC to move temporarily back to the former Serangoon JC site and move back to the current site when the new campus is completed. This is not ideal because it involves two moves instead of one. We may also have to make additional provisions at the former Serangoon JC site to accommodate the merged JCs temporarily. But we will plan the transition so as to minimize hassle to students and staff. And finally, Ishun Innova JC, now located at the former Ishun JC site. So prior to the merger, Ishun was also one of our oldest government JC, 34 years old. We will give the former Innova JC site a significant upgrade since it is not old enough to be rebuilt. And once completed, we will move Yishun in over there. We chose this as the permanent site because it will be served by the new Thompson East Coast MRT line. Phase one will be completed by around 2025, and we are already planning for phases two and three, involving upgrading the fourth of the merged JCs, Tampines Meridian, and also Victoria JC, and older government-aided JCs. The new premises will support the evolution of JC education, where lessons are now a lot more interactive and learning is more holistic. So instead of just classrooms we have today, we will have seminar rooms, which are modular, flexible, to support more interactive pedagogies. 
We will make the campuses more digitally enabled. We will have facilities that encourage sports and CCAs, such as indoor sports halls, which will be designed so that they can also be open for community use. And the JCs will have campuses that are fit for the future.